Okay, the Eagles didn't have the outcome they wanted against Pitt. How do you improve with uh, Florida State and two midweeks this weekend? Yeah, we, we let one get away on Sunday. Pitt's, Pitt's a good club, and the thing about all the ACC games, right, and ACC teams are, are so good top to bottom. Our league is so good top to bottom um, that you give one, you make one little mistake, you, you give one little window of opportunity, and, and good teams climb through it, and that's what we did on Sunday. We did a great job. You know, getting back into that game after seeing one of the top, you know, their Sunday starter, um, TJ Zook, is one of the top right-handed starters in this conference. Um, he's been dominant every time out, and <clears throat> you know we couldn't really get anything going against him. But then we did a great job as soon as we got into that bullpen, tied the ball game up, and then um, you know, kind of kind of gave them an opportunity and they grabbed it. Um, it's one of those. Um, you know, we got a chance to get Justin in the game. Anytime we get a chance to get Justin in the game, I want to get Justin in the game, and and I'm a believer in in losing with your best guy on the field if you're going to lose, right? So, um, you know, this is not a knock on Brian Rapp. Brian Rapp is turning into a really, really good um, ACC right-hander, and, and he's going to have a lot of really good opportunities. But I wanted to get Justin in the game and and um, and take our chances there. And um, you know, he kind of leaked a fastball over the middle, and um, and that happens. But Justin's going to close a lot of really important games for us down the road. Um, and then what do we do? Yeah, we get ready for UConn. We got a really good UConn club coming in and kind of starts our New England home schedule or New England schedule at home today. Um, so we're excited about UConn. The boys are really excited about playing in the birdcage today and then this weekend as well. And then um, in between that, we had a chance to add uh, a game out at UMass. Um, a little bit of a weird scheduling quirk with the bean pot coming up next Wednesday that we're going to UMass two Wednesdays in a row because uh, we're scheduled to go out there this year. So, um, but we're at that point in the season now where it's you're playing every day for the most part. Tuesday, Wednesday games almost every week throughout the month. I think it's 23 games in April, something like that. So, um, you know, this is always the time of year that um, that we start heating up because you're getting into a little bit more of a better, more of a rhythm. Like I said, playing one or two midweek games every week, getting to play at home. Um, the boys know that. We all know that. Um, so we're excited about it. Um, and then, you know, as far as Florida State. Everybody knows who, who Florida State is. They're a perennial Omaha contender. You know, Coach Martin's got something like 15,000 wins or some ridiculous number. I don't even know what it is anymore. I think we all lost count. Um, but he, he's, um, you know, he's one of the all-time great coaches, and um, and it's a storied program. So excited to get them here in the birdcage um, and see what can happen there. Um, the team has played about 14 or has traveled about 14,000 miles. Um, what does it mean to finally play at home and play in the birdcage and bring in these southern opponents? Uh, yeah, we love it. You know, we know that um, we know it's part of the deal and playing on the road early on is part of the deal. It's part of what we love, and we love that experience of getting out, um, being on the road, being together in the hotels, being together when we're traveling, um, playing in front of hostile crowds. Um, so it makes the it makes the first, you know, usually five this year six because Easter fell in an odd at an odd time this year, but it makes that early part of the season tough and a grind, but awesome at the same time. But it also sets up, you know, we go home home as far as weekends go, we go home home road home home for the next five um, weekends. And I mean, there's nothing better than that. So um, <clears throat> you know, the 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 grind part of those first couple of weeks, we get paid back now. And, um, and and then, like you mentioned, the birdcage. The boys love playing here. We love getting um, any team in here, especially the southern teams in here. And hopefully um, we get a little bit of cold weather coming through here for some of these guys as they come up. And, um, and the boys get a chance to play in front of their families and play in front of their friends and sleep on their own beds. And it's something that, that we look forward to. And finally, uh, freshman Jake Stevens has um, done really well to begin the year. Can you just talk about um, his development as a player? Yeah, it's 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 fun and exciting to watch as this kid just keeps getting better and better. Um, and you know the the competitiveness competitiveness and the poise for a freshman are things that really jump out at you. Nothing seems to phase him. I mean, even going in um, on Sunday for the really for the first two innings, he. He really had no fastball command. He had control, but no command. He really had wasn't sure where, the, where his fastball was going, and a lot of younger guys would kind of panic in that point. And he just sort of let himself work through it and settle in, and um, you know, figure out a way to give us a couple innings until he was able to get that feel for the fastball, and it, and then it sort of settled in. And um, 
you know, so to me, the competitiveness and the poise are things that really jump out. And, and the stuff's there. It's not going kind to of stuff, but you, when, once you add stuff to those two things, you have, um, you know, what's turning into a really, really good ACC starter, obviously, early in his career.